sana kuzile moyo wanga unalo uvutika kwa mbili. Moti ni masoa tandizo kwa mbili. Nani mtoso wa ntendele? It was very difficult to tell you the truth because being a widow, being one parent, it's not a joke. Because everything depends on you. And I think we still live in a situation where many women are still beaten uh, in the villages, where they still are treated badly. But you know, they don't always see it as being badly treated like we would see it, because it, it's part, part of life. The parents can provide for the kids, so the kids, you know, find their own way. So they break loose, go to town, go, get in town, and start begging uh, for their own, you know, living. That's the primary reason, because of poverty, they don't have the basic materials, basic food, basic clothing, but often the culture doesn't necessarily provide them with a way to make money. There's not an education set in place for women, especially in the villages, because they're lower income and they can't really afford that education. So that's one of the things, reasons what we're doing here with the Reap What You Sow project. We only take the lowest of the low in the economic order of that. Well, tailoring schools, tailors in, in Malawi, that's an excellent business for women. They don't, you know, they don't have Walmart, and they don't have a place where they can go buy clothes. People in Malawi and in these countries, Kenya, Mozambique, these countries get their clothes from tailors. And so that's a, that's a perfect profession for women. They have independence. They're help taking care of their families, their husbands. They're, they're brighter, their faces are brighter. They're not impoverished anymore. There's hope. And you know, there's a, it's, a, it's an amazing thing what just having a skill, knowing that you're going to be able to have a, some way that you're gonna be able to take care of your children. This is hope. And this is something they haven't had before. You give a person hope and you're gonna give them a smile for the very first time. And that's contagious because then everybody else in the village will have hope. And then, and it's just one sewing machine. I mean, one sewing machine and one woman who has this kind of skill given to her will give hope to a village. It's an amazing thing. Hope is contagious.